Hi guys, uh, Sent Round here. Bought Mansera Oud Vanille, 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 uh, however you pronounce it, by our good old Pierre Montal. Uh, the Montal brand is apparently a sister company of Mansera for those who are into that kind of nerdy knowledge. Uh, anyway, Manseras usually come with a relatively straightforward, um, how to put it, uh, design, right? Uh, as, as as my team goes, it's all about the juice, so they subscribe to that. No fancy fancy bottles, no Paco Robani stuff here, right? No dumbbells, no robot, no nothing. Just classy bottle, simple labeling, and even the name is, is no, no nonsense name. It's just straight away tells you what are the key things inside there, right? Wood and vanilla, vanilla right? And then it's got a last time it was a screw on uh, now uh, my hands are oily i think i might not be able to do a one hand thing with you guys it's like a magnetic uh, magnetic uh, cap all right so um, this is uh, we like this because we talk about bang for buck is niche but it's priced at the chanel and uh, dior kind of a level of pricing so uh, uh, it's, it's kind of like a, how to put it uh, a favorite among um, fragrance people so uh, they come with tons of uh, uh, how to put it tons of uh, lines uh, I might say uh, not in the traditional fashion house way of doing it uh, right like for example uh, you might have Aqua Di Gio where he has his flankers and all right uh, and uh, what else Dunhill Dan Racing and his flankers and so on but this this does not really work like that He'll, they just come up with like uh, they will put two or three um, notes together and then call it like uh, you know um, uh, uh, tonka coke you know then you already know what it's about it's going to be tonka beads inside there there's going to be some soda um, uh, smell or flavor coming out of it and so on right uh, so so that's how that works uh, they of course they do have certain uh, non note based uh, uh, what do you call it bottles as well like hindu kush and so on uh, but uh, this is what the house is about for the most part now um this is kind of how to say i i actually wanted to go for gold uh, gold incense right uh, but how? But however, it was not not in stock at, at, on the day, and so I sort of went for this wood vanilla because uh, there were some people who say it's kind of nice. It's got a rich, uh, uh, dark vanilla uh, flavor. Uh, I was kind of taken aback because <laughs> uh, all the I, I knew Mansera to be very uh, strong projecting and uh, longevity wise and all that is good, uh, especially due to my experience with tobacco. Right, that's a banger of a fragrance. That's like an in your face fragrance. Uh, but what happened was I bought this guy right here, this uh, cheaper relative to that, of course, about half the price for the same volume. And I I felt that this opening was stronger to my nose than this, right? Like if I'm going to say my nose is blocked today or whatever, uh, my nose de detects this in a stronger way compared to that. I'm like, what the... Doot? Right? Um, so the, I was a bit confused really with wood vanilla. So for the, all those viewers are talking about this being um, very projecting and strong I, I don't know man it, it does not seem to work for me but anyway I might uh, give it more time perhaps and see uh, it does linger a while though it's, it's a skin scent for a couple of hours that I agree uh, and maybe intentionally so it kind of makes sense because you know oh this is like quite an opinion dividing it can easily go into skanky territory but if it's done right it gives this um, kind of a warm homely comfy kind of a feel uh, maybe to me because I'm a bit more from the Orient, and then if you are if you, if you've been to the villages and you're young, you're playing around. All these uh, smokings will be happening around you. You know, all these incense and woods and all that. So maybe when you smell it as you're older, you you associate that with homely feel and comfort, um, warmth, or maybe you're being in a comforting cave in some kind of a temple. This kind of peaceful kind of a feel. So that's that's the kind of vibe I get with this. Of course, vanilla adds a bit of a sophistication polish on top of it, and. Um, uh, it's not as crazy as some like you know there was the I, I can't remember the Paco Rabanne the black one you know all, I mean basic uh, even even uh, what's the other one the gold color one uh, the gold biscuit can't remember the name right now getting old getting old man getting rusty brains uh, basically those sweet uh, party kind of perfume perfumes right uh, yeah Paco Rabanne one million sorry I just remembered the gold this one right those those things are uh, like cloying and more sweet they go in that style so this this is still sophisticated always using oud right so it's oud and vanilla uh, not not too sweet not over the top and uh, when they went for something that's lingering in your skin but not strongly projecting I think uh, they, they, they want to prevent people from being taken aback uh, uh, so those uh, wood haters or non-wood lovers right uh, we, we don't want to like make make them uncomfortable in our vicinity 
uh, and for wood lovers they might just enjoy the small whiff of it um of course the 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 talk that i saw in various places were all a few years back so uh, maybe lately they reform for example if you look at older uh, discussions on mansara you realize they talk about a screw on barrel but the new cap but the new one is uh, magnetic type so they made some changes so it is possible that they've made this formulation the new formulations a bit uh, less projecting so that uh, it doesn't turn people off okay um i need to test this more on the field to see how exactly which way it's going I had one incense manly perfume which I used to enjoy Givenchy gentleman boyzy for 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 those who are, you know like a chocolatey incense kind of feel I felt very masculine I I kind of enjoyed wearing that it's got a moderate projection moderate longevity it's a classy perfume I think you guys should check it out That's one of the best implementation of the whole incense wood uh, style in a perfume Now uh, back to this um it has that ozone feeling initially to me like ozone light airy kind of feel uh the vanilla wasn't wasn't like too in your face either and and it slowly at the very beginning you might get some medicinal kind of uh wood feel but but not for long it settles down right so where do i see myself wearing this is a very good question guys because of the way they've tuned at least this batch of it i think it it is more versatile than it should be you prob- probably can get away with uh, wearing this in, in certain office situations i would say especially in in the oriental kind of uh, locations places if you're working there uh, it might it might be fine as usual with old perfumes or what extreme heat if you if you if you spray a good bunch on and you're sweating you're reeking of sweat then you might get like kind of funny kind of uh, this one depending on your body chemistry of course uh, you can try to feel test it with friends when you when you hot hot environment how do they give feedback when you wearing this right uh, but in a cool office aircon uh, environment uh, you, i think you can pull it off as, as as a manager or executive um evenings out well fine especially if you're going into those kind of uh, see when when we go traveling right sometimes when you go to all these uh, ancient ruins temples all these kind of places uh you enjoy the the things that it gives to your eyes if you wear like a perfume that goes with the kind of place you 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 going geography of the place maybe a lot of you if you all haven't tried but i i reckon that it's going to really elevate your your experience when you come back for example let's say you're going on a seaside you know sea trip and you choose to wear an aqua based perfume like aqua di gio or something like that right uh, or what's the the bulgari aqua line for example right so you wear those kind of stuff uh you you you're going to get like a more enhanced uh, feeling of of uh, of because the 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 bulgari especially has a bit of that um fishy slash like tinge of fishy kind of a thing going on and and all the ozonic thing so when when you inhale when you having that you know adding on to the environment of the sea and the noise and all that it really adds to your experience uh, uh because not all seas gonna smell like classic seas right <laughs> depending on your location so uh if you go to temples or this kind of thing and you wear this kind of perfumes it's going to make you feel even more like uh, you know enhance your experience as i would say um so i mean some might disagree but it's just my my view point guys right so other than that uh, you want to go to clubs and um, maybe more serious kind of clubs you know if you want to go for a drink like like you going with with like a more older gentleman for like a drink of whiskey or something then this this might work uh, but if you're going on a date or like just partying and all that i think something a bit more sweet would would work better the more sweet kind of perfumes would work better like uh, yeah 1 million and all those kind of things so that's just my thought so otherwise i'll test this out i i do wish i had bought something better from mansera but the the place i go to the their choice of samples are very limited so sometimes you just sort of like you know buy uh, take a gamble you have to take a gamble that's what i did uh, but the other one that i got uh, Uh, is 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 kind of better right centrifugal centrifugal forces list this is number 4 i believe in the popular or, or best mansera list um but um this was just like one of those gambles uh it's not bad right it's not bad but yeah it's uh, well, I'll give it some time and see right we'll see how it goes okay guys uh, i'll talk about black gold mm yummy uh later um so i'm going to give this uh, for a lower price niche brand okay in that context okay um i'll give this probably at 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 this moment of 2.5 out of 5 uh, maybe with time uh, mansara will uh, would when it will redeem itself with me uh yep that's about it guys my thoughts on this uh wood vanilla i don't think it's so popular 
um, uh, but uh, it might be mean me over uh, if you guys have experience using this perfume do share your experiences and especially if you bought a few few of these for example maybe you bought this uh, two years back and then you bought another new one this year you can share how the formulation is there any change in the formulation and so on and so forth with that sent says bye bye till the next video much love take care